In this video, we're going to talk about how to start your own podcast. We're going to set it up start to finish in the WordPress platform. So basically, we have the, uh, the con your control panel and your hosting account. This uh, information will be sent to you by your host. First thing I like to do is set up a forwarding email address uh, on my domain. So it forwards to a regular uh, email address that I check regularly. Second thing to do is to set up a... Um, database. And if you just use the MySQL database wizard, it sets up the database and the username at the same time. So uh, we'll set that up and uh, give it uh, all permissions. I just uh, set it to all whenever the permission table comes up. And we're good to go and ready to install WordPress and use the database and username that we set up. One thing that I do is to, since I have shell access on my uh, server, I have a standard WordPress setup with um, a couple of the themes that I like and all the plugins that I typically use. And instead of having to upload all that stuff uh, every time I install a new WordPress account, since I probably do five or ten uh, WordPress installs uh, a week or so, uh, I just uh, set up a little script that will copy that location into my new folder. And so instantly I have a um, my new WordPress install with the themes I like and the plugins that I like. If you don't have that capability, there are hundreds of videos on the internet that will show you how to FTP your, your um, WordPress site. And if you do have shell access uh, and would like to uh, like some help in setting a script up, I would be glad to help you with that. Just send me an email, and uh, we'll be good to go there. So now that uh, our account is copied over, we'll just go in and set up our uh, uh, put our domain name in, and it brings up the WordPress install screen. It recognizes an empty database and automatically takes us to the uh, to the install. And uh, a couple, uh, just enter a password for our administrative account and the email that we set up previously, which just forwards to one of my uh, addresses. We will uh, set that up, log in, and we are good to go. I can show you the, uh, the plugin setup that I use and uh, how to actually add your first uh, podcast. We're looking at the... Uh, list of plugins on the site and right now there are none activated because it's our first time in here but just want to scroll down and look at the blueberry power press plugin that i use for my podcast click there to activate it and then it shows up on the left hand side and click on it to set the um, uh, actual options that we want to uh, put in place for it First, at the top here is default media URL. Basically, what you can do is put the the uh, uh, URL up into the folder of your uh, where you're going to put your audio files, and then whenever you actually uh, on each individual podcast, all you need to do is enter the file name, and it will already have the uh, default location um, pasted in place there for you. I just put mine in the uploads section, and of course then it'll have the year and month and then my file name. There are a number of other uh, options on here. Um, you can customize a lot of customization to the, the way the player looks in your, uh, on your site. Uh, Auto-detect file size, I leave that checked. Auto-detect duration, both of those are... Uh, will be listed with your player at each of your podcast entries. And uh, next page is the statistics. To get our statistics working, uh, we go to the Blueberry website. And uh, I know a lot of you use FeedBurner. FeedBurner will keep track of the RSS uh, subscriptions, but uh, this Blueberry will keep track of downloads off your site, plays off of your site, and RSS. You can use this in combination with uh, FeedBurner for your RSS if you'd like. But basically, we just set up our account in at uh, their website. This is free. You don't have to pay for uh, for an account there. They have a paid account if you want to host your media with them. But I basically just host all my uh, media on my own site or for bigger, larger podcasts. 
use uh, Amazon storage. So I have my uh, uh, account set up and then go back to your website and plug in that information into the um, into the Blueberry uh, plugin itself in your WordPress install. Once your email address is validated, you can go back into the site and actually set up your feed inside here. They also, um, much like all the the other podcast listing sites, you'll find that this was is a very popular one, and you'll get a great backlink back to your site. It'll show up one of the top backlinks in your Google statistics uh, if you have that set up, or even on your if you use AW Stats or one of the uh, statistic programs in your own hosting account. Basically, just put your program title in here, a short URL uh, for uh, for your podcast, pick a category, and then the um, uh, RSS feed, and you're good to go. Uh, the next uh, video will show you uh, how to set everything up inside the back end of WordPress, and then how to upload your first podcast.